All right, sup, Tubes? Welcome back to the Path of Rage. I'm, of course, your host, Rage Egg Games, and this is our ongoing uh, Cyberpunk 2077 playthrough, the next episode in, in the line. Uh, as always, like I say at every episode, this game is not for kids. Don't let them watch it. In the meantime, those of us who are old enough to appreciate this game for what it is, to have some fun. So, uh, let's take a look at the map. We got a ton of stuff all around us. I don't want to do this yet. I'm not advancing the main story. Oh, Fool on the Hill. This was that tarot card that we saw, so let's go see her. Go we'll talk to Misty. We can do a whole bunch of stuff right around here. Pick up all of these. Yeah, cool. Let's do it. And because we're so close, we can take a walk. And enjoy Night City. Soak it in. Can we please stop talking about work? What happens to going out and drinking spaghetti, huh? Just, oh. Barely illegal, Jesus. You are not the masters of your memories. For your eyes do not belong to you, or rather... Misty? I saw a weird image out on the street. Uh, seems like your line of work. What'd it look like? I grabbed a scan. Take a look. Tarot. Major Arcanum. What you saw was a sign from a higher power. I saw the what now? Major Arcanum? Tarot card, archetype, knowledge held in symbolic form, a stage in your journey through life. Take your pick. Either way, you're saying some higher power is talking to me through tarot cards. Or to Silverhand. Or both of you, seeing as you form a harmonious whole at the moment. <laughs> you know, it'd be a little easier if this higher power learned to be direct. Well, the world is a maze of illusions. It's not easy for the light to shine into the prison of our earthly existence. Right. Great. So, what do I do with a sign I can't understand from a power I know nothing about? I'd start by looking for more of them. The tarot describes a road. So go down it. I might as well do it and get the quest. Still don't know what I'm supposed to do with what I find. Look for more images. They must have some connection to the place where you find them. Think about what you see. You ask me? They've been sent to help you find the truth. Finding the truth is pretty far down on my list at the moment. Mm -hmm. A difficult time is coming when you'll have to choose which road to take. Then, you'll understand. I don't know. Come on back when you've found more. I'll help you decipher what you've seen. Okay. Let's go see. I don't think I can upgrade any more, but let's go see if Vic has got some more cyberware for us. Got a few questions about Silverhand in this chip. I'm no expert, but fire away. See what I can do. How's it even possible, seeing him? Well, that biochip is designed for users to communicate with constructs. It's just doing its job. So I got our socket to thank. You know, I wager you have the lowest net worth of any relic owner out there. <laughs> Tried to flatline me. Johnny did. What? What can I do to suppress him? You know, avoid my murder. Well, long as you don't give him control, can't do too much harm. Of course, that won't necessarily be possible after some time. And what then? What do you say we don't let things get that far? Find a way to get rid of Silverhand, and fast. Mm -hmm. Why am I reliving Johnny's memories? You two share a brain now. He has access to your senses, perceptions, even some memories. Likewise, you've got a glimpse into his. 
After a while, we won't even know whose is whose. Hmm. Listen. Don't laugh, uh, but I've been seeing some weird shit around town. Like murals or something. But I know they're not real. Uh, just a Kiroshi blip. Could take a look. No, no. The images are too complex for a blip. It's like they're symbols. That case is the biochip. Brain can't handle the data overload. Either that, or it's reached the cortex. <sighs> Can you do anything? Nope. Better find a way to get rid of that chip. Hmm. Okay. Thinking about swapping some chrome. You got any new toys? Have a look. Yeah, okay, actually, I could put a little bit more in here. I got up to 75. I'm at 68. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh... Movement speed when entering combat? No. Increases movement speed. No. Close time when health drops? No. That's not bad. Bonus stealth damage. Blades and throwable weapons? I might go with that. No. Successful takedowns, grant. Yeah, I'm not really worried about the stuff in the nervous system too much. Okay, what about arms? Ah, yeah, this is what I want to get next. Either mantis blades or um, the launcher. Okay, I can't do that. Can't put another ram in. I don't think. I don't want to waste the money just in case. Kind of want to see if I can. Well, that's more RAM. Can I? Maybe I should upgrade this. Let's see that. It's a slight. Might as well. Very slight update. But yeah, now I can't buy another one, so. Okay. I thought that's how that would go. Groceries are fine. Whoops. Reloading an empty weapon causes next shot to release an electroshock. I still want to focus on up close and personal. I got my double jump. Heal on kill. That's not bad. And I get plus 10 ram for neutralizing an enemy. Or z not plus 10. 0 0.1 regen. I don't think I can take that. No. It takes... No, it's... I already had one. Bloody hell. Okay, let's upgrade to tier. Does that fix the RAM regen? No, it doesn't. Eh, alright, whatever. Okay, good enough on that. How about here? Yeah, I can upgrade my armor, can I? 
Float at three meters. Wow! The closer. Oh, okay, never mind. The closer they are to you. Okay, that's not what I want. You lose 30. Okay. I'm just going to go with this. Update my armor. There we go. And what we also want to do at some point in this episode is head to a uh, cyberware shop and get some new demons. I want Contagion, for one. Hmm, pardon. There is a tarot card above us somewhere. shimmering <laughs> bingo I'll find these and do the quest. I'm not going to really worry about the actual cards themselves too much. the level design of this game. Just love it. Okay, map. That means over here in front. Oh, actually, we'll find this one first. Try talking to Barry while we're there. <clears throat> Pardon. I do know from my previous playthroughs that that uh, berry quest is a weird one. <laughs> mm. oh. How's it going with Mama Wells? Pretty good. Maybe too good. Oops. How's that? After we said goodbye to Jackie, she invited me over. We talked for a while. Now, not a day goes by when she doesn't call. Ask how it's going. Tells me about herself, Jackie, everything. Sometimes for hours. Sent me a roast the other day. You believe that? Apparently I'm too skinny. She knows I don't eat meat. V, I'm afraid she's trying to, I don't know, adopt me somehow. <laughs> What's the big deal? I wish somebody would make me a roast. I think Miss Wells is using me to avoid thinking about her son's death. With a new surrogate daughter. Exactly. Hmm. Jackie gave you these cards, right? I remember when he asked me to help him pick the right deck. Mm-hmm. He picked just the thing for me, too. I feel a real connection to this deck. We could lay out a spread for you now, if you like. Yeah. Why the hell not? Focus on the recent past and what you expect in the future. The chariot. You're ready for change. Ready to seek the truth about yourself. And to help, you'll have... someone from your family? The sun reversed. You'll meet some obstacles, but they will be temporary. 
So long as you follow your own judgment, stick to your chosen path. Strength. Strength of will, discipline, and courage will always be rewarded. But not necessarily at your destination, as the reversed magician shows. Perhaps the path itself is what's important? And will help you overcome your fear? Hmm. Alright. And that's something I would never do in real life, is get a tarot reading. Watch it, bitch! For some reason, I can't. There we go. I couldn't step up on the curb. Going on down here. And yes, I could have used the fast travel to get into my own building here. Mega building 10. That's always what you want to see. People just puking on the elevator you're about to get on. Moon cheese for when you're sky high. <laughs> Taste the love. You gotta, you gotta love the uh, ads in this game. Garbage bags just piled up in the hallway. Barry's over here somewhere, isn't he? Down below. Who is this in here? Oh. Yeah. There we are. Barry, am I remembering that right? Who is it? V, your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Prem rides. Back then you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. <laughs> you don't forget a gunk thing like that. You gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? Mm. I just want to talk, that's all. I know it's what you need right now, even if you don't want to admit it. I can't turn back time for you, but I can sit next to you and listen. Remind you that you're not in this alone. Now hold on a sec. We barely know each other, and you just rock up here talking to me about my problems. Mm -hmm. Where'd you get the idea something with me was up? You watching me? Someone send you? All right, you got me. Your friends asked me to drop in on you, so I thought, hey, why not? 
He's a stand-up guy. Who cares if he has shitty taste when it comes to street shredders? Come back just to get your ass kicked? Man, you really know how to cheer a guy up. Maybe those two assets really are worried about me. All right, come on in. Talk, so let's talk. Okay, those look like they would be the most uncomfortable sandals ever. You've fallen off your damn feet. Wow. I thought my room looked bad. I lost someone close to me, too. A damn good friend. What do you mean, too? Wait. It's about Andrew. They, uh... Told you about him. Best bud I ever had. Known in my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. I'm guessing things at the NCPD haven't changed a lick, huh? One time, a Maelstrom ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes. For shits and giggles. I couldn't do shit. The son of a bitch had corporal protection. <laughs> Typical. Our chief greases his palms with an anonymous donation. And guess what? Officially, kid blew his own brains out. Right in front of your eyes. Something died in me then. I couldn't do it anymore. Was... A few months later, Andrew passed and everything went to shit. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? And Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes. According to him. But you told him about Andrew. Honestly, I thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. Can you tell me how Andrew died? Doesn't matter. Normally from old age. It's no wonder, seeing as he was only a few years younger than my grandma. Dying of old age? In Night City? That merits a monument. The whole world should gaze up at it in awe. <laughs> Ashbox and the niche will have to do. So then Andrew is more like a grandpa to you than a friend? <laughs> we can go that far. He was like a... I don't know. A window into the past or something. He reminded me of my Graham Grams. About our little talks. Time when everything had its proper place. You know? He was the last living record of those times. Hmm. Which one? Mendez is right. You gotta toughen up. That's Tell not what I expected him to see. Sorry. Right. So I'm just supposed to forget everything I've seen. That kid. Even Andrew. He's gone and you're here. It's time to stop living in the past. You won't change anything by sitting here alone, wallowing in misery. I think we're done here. Suit yourself. That was not how I expected that to go. Hmm. Uh. Well, he just shot himself. No. I think he just shot himself. That's what I heard. I think that means that, that that's in its oh it might have been this. Okay, never mind. Maybe we've still got the mission to go. Let's see here.
Talk to the cops. Oh, no, back this way. Oh, there they are. How did I not see them before? <laughs> it's you. You talked to Barry? He finally decided to get his shit together? But cry out loud, Mendez. Hey, so what did Barry tell you exactly about that friend he lost? Not much. Hardly ever spoke about him. Said once he was the only one who could understand him. It's nice to have someone like that. We had a little chat. He seems chilled, but seriously down in the dumps. He's got a bone to pick with Mendez. What? So why doesn't he say so to my face? Clearly he couldn't stand his job and didn't have anyone to talk to about it. He said you didn't even try to understand him. See? Was I right? Uh, give me a break. Barry likes playing the drama queen. You just gotta shake some sense into him, trust me. We'll see. We'll have to check in on him later. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. You got some cash out of it. All right. Three credit. There we go. Twelve hundred bucks. Sure, I'll take it. I'm in a hurry. Now, we'll get this tarot card. Oh, I just saw that. Level up. Oh, go for that. Absolutely. I should have picked that one. Oh no, it's remaining in the queue. Okay, that's not as big a deal. That would have been nice. I'm going to end up getting most of the stuff in this tree. Wait a sec. No, it, it does say it's in here. No, see, it's bringing me up again. It says it's above me. Oh. Is there one here? No, okay. After we get this thing, we're going to go to Cyberware. I want to see if I can find a certain quick hack that stops them from tracing you. Don't run me over, truck. <laughs> Don't look overly long at the ads before YouTube kicks us. What's important? I may have found a solution to the problem we share. I have established a contact with an old friend from Arasaka. He's here in Night City now. He's well connected to certain influential people. That's gonna help us how exactly? There will be a meeting. You, me, and this friend of mine. You will tell him what you told me. The truth of events at Kompiki Brother. I have little hope that he will be convinced, but it will be a start. Of all people, you ought to know Night City tests everyone's reliability, even that of old friends. Sure about this guy? Trust him? Many times we have had the opportunity to kill one another. Yes, 
I trust him. Fine. Where's the meat and when? Japan Town. After sunset. I am sending you the precise location. I'll see you there. Okay. Hero card? Now. The afterlife. Like this. Is there. Why is it okay? Why is it not showing service points? There we are. There it is. The Kabuki. Is there a closer one? This is where we got our first quick hacks. We're gonna go to this one. Okay. There we go. I don't know why I like Takamira. Come on. Open stash? Oh, that's cool. I did not know you could do that. There you go. Learn something new every day, folks. All right. Let's go. Get some new quick hacks. Once we find it and get uh, the Akira motorcycle, it's game on. I won't be switching from that. The Kusanagi. if I scratched up Jackie's bike. Oh, I missed it. get there. Okay. I think I get a gun out of that. Okay. Alright. Any other services? You offer any other services sometimes after hours but at the moment i'm going through a bit of a rebranding selling anything interesting <laughs> that was a <laughs> that was a weird little look ooh
Okay, I wanted... Nope, lures an enemy, untraceable. I want contagion. Can I put this in my... In my uh, deck? I don't know. I guess we'll find out in a minute, but... Memory wipe. There we are. Prevents the target enemy from noticing you for a short time. Minus 25% trace progress. We need that. We need contagion. Weapon glitch. Synapse burnout. Yes. Overheat. Or short circuit. A two stacks permanently disables enemy cyberware. <sighs> that might be really good against cyber psychos. Hmm. This stacks with Cyber World Malfunction too. Ugh. Oh, which one do I want? <laughs> Actually, let's see if I can even put any of these on. Uh, we'll sell this. Sell this. This and this. Uh Okay. Sell the junk. Beauty. Care about handgun muzzle brakes. Okay. Now, go into my cyber deck. Ah. Uh, Did I not buy Contagion? Yeah, lower tier. So I can only take tier two. That's fine. I've got that one for later on. I am going to upgrade though. Uh, I can't get Contagion. I don't have the money for it. Oh, that's why. Okay. Crap. I thought I did. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. You know what? I'm going to wait till I can get. Actually, I didn't even look at. He's not selling Cyberdex. Okay. That's at a. Uh, uh, cyberware. Okay. There's a car here for sale. Auto fixer terminal. Let us. You know what? We'll take the, the quick... Oh, we're not near one. Okay. So, we gotta go back here. And take part in the shooting contest. Nah, nah. We'll do that when we're there again sometime. Find out more about... Evelyn Parker? That got to do with Phantom. I don't want to do that yet.
as you realized. Dynamic. There we go. Let's go get a Miro card and then meet with Takamira. That's the way. Weakest ball art in history. Oh my god. <laughs> Eat it. <laughs> you hear that, folks? Her dad is gonna fuck me up. Uh, we don't need to drive. Let's go down here. Actually. <coughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Just swallowed her. Down there somewhere. But this is the good thing. We've got double jump legs. Oh, it didn't work. I didn't hit it in time. You can actually use the double jump to stop yourself from falling. That was bad timing on my part. There we go. And now... We'll meet with Takamura right here. We've actually got a working tram in this now. Even when the cars aren't. Whoa, he disappeared. Look at that. <laughs> Tiger Claw. God, this is dope. Just look at this. Let's wait for Tech. Goro. Name like that, he should have four arms. It is good to see you, B. Seems pretty uh secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. What the hell happened? You look close to awful. You see a man robbed of his implants, money, and dignity. Look well. It is not all bad. I am mostly unnoticed in the streets. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's from the carrier at anchor in the bay. Saburo's daughter. Yes, and if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. Just hope he doesn't blindly follow Arasaka protocol. What protocol? Unwritten rules. <laughs> Had him here in Night City. Could be different in Japan. If IA got even a whiff of treason, they'd prep an enhanced interrogator and send two elite squads with air support to grab the suspect. I understand the point you seek to make. But if Oda has ulterior motives, he will need no elites, no air support, no one but himself. Trust me, I have seen him work. <laughs> That's supposed to be reassuring. <laughs> if it helps you stay calm, you can gaze at the sky. By God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. Is it? Is that a cat? We may have a have to pet the cat. Takemura-san. Oda. Is this him? Your thief. He's my witness, V. Can't speak for myself, you know. Mm -hmm. So speak. 
I have been told you know things. Not gonna like what I'm about to say. I need a guarantee I'm safe here. You are, you have it. V, you can trust Oda. All right then. Compeki Plaza. I was there the night it happened. Looked like your typical family quarrel until Yorinobu lunged at Saburo and started choking. Silence! Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly. I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about a silly parade? Fool! Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my But you duty. can't ignore the truth. You will regret those words. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to Yorinobu-sama. Mm. What would you do now, were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu-sama. Consider yourself Raki, that I am not you. Oda, you, you are an Arasaka soldier. This is not a request. We remind you of your duty to be truthful to your superiors. I did not come here to be lectured to by a thief. Wasn't always what I am now. And your friend here didn't always look like a bum. Feel free to join us. Plenty of room at the bottom of the heap. <laughs> not enticed? Then do your duty. Tell Hanako what nobody else wants to hear. That should be to him. As you say, food of all thought. Just gotta tell it like it is sometimes. It is a shame. Nothing will come of it. How come? It should have been obvious. Oda is a perfectionist. He most fears to make a mistake. Good fucking riddance. One hour soccer whack job is already plenty. <laughs> Can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes, and obtained something useful. Hmm. How do you figure that? What Oda said. They returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see that parade? It is our chance, perhaps, if somehow we can get to Hanako-sama. We must mm. do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan Town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? Uh, hang on. Not so fast. Make it sound as easy as hacking a schism. You said yourself, Hanako's got the tightest security in all Night City. Correct. That is why I wish for you to contact us with the local fixer. No, just the fixer dame. Wakaku Akata runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Mm -hmm. Will you join me? Sure, why not? J Street. What is this name? <laughs> Just a night city name. Beware, you mock me too often. Hmm? You all right, Goro? Yes. Why the sudden concern? Have shared interests, you and I. Where have you forgotten? Certainly not. Good. 
Cause catching lead in Night City is easier than catching a cold. And I need you alive. I am alive and well. As you can see, you should worry about yourself. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. Mm. Yorino and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. Goro drives like an old woman. Ten and two even. Actually, now that I think about it, old men, old women, old people drive like this slow. I wonder when that'll change for me. So I don't drive slow, but I'm getting older. One day I'm going to catch myself doing 40 on the, the highway. <laughs> I thought, <laughs> I thought there was actually more dialogue to this, but <laughs> I don't like Goro's choice of music. Music was terrible. For some reason, this game always wants to bring us back to the red light district. No idea who jumped your team, but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. Mm -hmm. V, so nice to see you. And your charming friend is? Happen to be working together. That's all. Takemura Goro this. Okada-san, Ah, a true gentleman. Ah, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. Mm -hmm. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Caution. Caution? World's most wanted Japanese fugitives hiding out in Night City, and you got nothing to do with it? Please. We know they're thinking. They'll link you to us faster than you can finish puffing on that sig. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. Mm -hmm. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka. Again. Some weird artifact in the face. What I fail to understand is why come to me? Did Mr. Deshaun not come to the phone? Goro, remind me why Dex is fat, backstabbing ass is currently indisposed. He is deceased. Butchered and dumped at a landfill by some Arasaka goon. Real shame that. That a threat I detect? No threat, no. Asked why I couldn't reach Dex, I answered. Just facts, nothing more. Good, cause you would then have to join him. <laughs> Okada-san, our intentions are honorable. We need just information. It is a matter of life and death. 
Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. <laughs> Clearly. My gift <laughs> to you, it's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? For free? You sure? Got my reasons, but patience, I got none. <laughs> Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, a guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, <laughs> expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japan town and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Not at all curious what we're going to all this trouble for. Mm. Blissful ignorance has served me well. In any case, I'll find out soon, won't I? Mm. Thanks, Wakako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. Give me the look of death. You know, I see people at the casino here all the time. They go there to stay at the hotel and use the hot tub sometimes. I don't get what people see in slot machines. A delightful, mature woman. Hmm. <laughs> This information, it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Stay safe, Goro. Actually, don't mind you Goro. as well. Until next time. <clears throat> I've been a prick to him in the past. Fought against him in the past or whatnot, but I generally kind of like him. I'll work with him this time. Oh. Here, Katie, Katie, what's the rush? <laughs> I expected Johnny to say something. Okay, um. There it is. We're gonna take the fast travel, go to Mega Building 10. And do that uh, shooting competition. <clears throat> At least the loading times in this game are super quick, too. Give them credit. Uh, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, that Mendez. didn't... It's too late. He can't hear you. you. Your genes were fine, Barry. You were the strongest son of a bitch I knew. Mm. Didn't it say to wait to talk to him? Yeah, it's gone. Okay. I'm so, I'm so sorry, Barry. I... Damn, that's a whole quest line that we're gonna miss out on. 
And I actually just picked that response because I've never done it before. I've always done the other one. Hey V, about to start. You uh, you got to take a piss or something. Uh, now's the time. Thanks for your concern. Let's start this rodeo. <laughs> Can't just yet. Not till you get in the range. Go on, set up, chop chop. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, how many we got? Just six? God damn. Well, no point crying about it. <clears throat> Rules are simple, right? There's the target, shoot it. Don't matter which one, go on and shoot your neighbors. Most hits wins. Uh, meaning hits on the target, not your neighbor. Oh, right, uh, small caliber iron only. Don't go showing off with your fucking assault bangers or no rocket pukers, got me? First prize is a pistol. But, uh, a, a real nice one. It's fucking nice, I'm telling you. Anyway, uh, enough words. Fucking nice. So, ready? Okay. Three. Two. Hey, hey. The hell's that? What the hell are you doing with that double barrel? Says small caliber only. Uh, forgot my iron. Must be in my other jacket. And that's where you keep your gun in a holster. A holster! Get the fuck out of my sight now! <laughs> fuck, Chum. Chill. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> Pearls before swine, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Not the most pleasant shop owner, is he? Come on, let's start this up. All right. Three, two, one. Target. Hit the target, not the wall. Looking good, Rudy. Go, go, go! Halfway there, B. Get a grip gotta, for You gotta sake. wait till they come down all the way. What the hell was that, Lisa? Forget your glasses? Fifteen seconds. Last chance, B! League punks, learn to shoot out of my sight now. <clears throat> yeah, that's a way to get people <laughs> buy shit in your store. Okay, there we go. Thanks, Wilson. It sure is pretty. Uh huh. Yeah. Hey, you okay? Something wrong? <sighs> Ain't a damn thing that's right. Contest didn't do shit. Didn't sell a goddamn thing. Nothing. Should try not calling potential buyers bush leak. Yeah, maybe, but fuck! Gun's something you gotta respect. If you don't know how to shoot, don't do it. Mm. Uh. <sighs> Take care. We go. We got a new gun. Let's check this shit out.
So it's still better than the ones we had. Although maybe equal? No. Cool. I can break down. And end up storing these. Actually, I can do that while I'm here. Oh no, what am I doing? Run, forest. The idea of double jumping is awesome. equipped this in the stash this in the stash and this in the stash there we go and there is gorgeous night city All right, folks, and that is just past the one-hour mark, so we are going to leave it there for this episode of our Cyberpunk 2077 playthrough. If you thought I did a good job and enjoyed the episode, thumbs up as always. Thumbs down if you didn't. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Either way, I do appreciate it when you subscribe if you haven't already, so please do so. And until next time, I've been Rage at Games, and I'll see you in Night City. Bye-bye.